<laughs> yeah, this is a fucking good one. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's the, the dude, Louis Rossman. Video, Senate chair asked anti-repair lobbyist if I'm a slave to your operation. I'm not going to play the whole fucking video. Because, you know, fucking if you want to understand every fucking single thing, just go look it the fuck up. Basically, before I even get started, she's over there asking that question. And uh, this idiot is uh, spouting complete fucking lies. I should know, I've called Microsoft and asked if I could fucking <clears throat> send my console in for a repair, uh, a custom repair. Where basically they just take it apart, clean it, and send it back. No, they don't offer that. Uh, as far as cell phones, which is what that fucking idiot was talking about, absolutely not. Cell phone companies don't offer any fucking repairs like that. There were a bunch of distributors. Uh, well, not distributors. There were a bunch of... Um, yeah, all the all the mail in stuff that keeps everyone a slave to what the senator is calling the uh, horizontal monopoly. Yeah, that that's in there. That's the way that's working. You know, how far back do I need to go? Well, we like you manufacture, you sell, you authorize the people that can repair, and I bought it, but I'm kind of a slave to your operation. But we want to let's add some extra context to that I'm glad some of these uh, very few number of people are starting to get the picture of how much of a slave they are to the American fuck way of life because like George Carlin said it's the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it yeah definitely I'm really glad that someone other than myself gets how much of a slave that the corporatocracy wants you to be. Yeah, that's a, that's a play on words. Let's see, a while ago it was the manocentric maleocracy. And before that there were words like autocracy and Whatever, fuck it. But anyway, it, it, it's a total corporatocracy. It's a total corporate fucking monopoly over your life. The shadow government is corporate America. The corporations. That's what I mean when I say the shadow government. So, there you go. Someone's finally starting to get it. Took you, well, way too fucking long. <laughs> way too fucking long to get it, but you gotta get in there. It does bring me some degree of joy to see that someone's finally getting it other than myself. Of how much a slave that the shadow government corporatocracy wants everyone to be. And if you want to see more stuff from Lewis Rosman... Well, uh, as of recently, for the past couple of weeks, he's been covering the anti-repair bill and how he's been fighting real hard for your right to repair your own fucking equipment instead of being a slave to this horizontal monopoly. Oh, that's another thing. Go watch a YouTube video on um, right after you watch this one from Louis Rossman. Go watch the one from, uh, what's his name? I fucking said it a minute ago. George Carlin. There we go. Go watch George Carlin's video on soft language. And uh, he'll explain how something shell shock went from being called shell shock 
It sounds like a legitimate threat to your life. A very bad mental illness. Shell shock. Yeah, I'm quoting exactly what the fuck he said. But anyway, yeah, this uh, corporate monopoly is basically just slavery with extra steps. That's exactly what it is. Why call uh, an orange a piece of orange-colored seed-bearing fruit with a thick exterior coating when it's just a fucking orange? You know, why call a uh, steaming sack of shit a corporate American who is lobbying against your right to repair personally? You know, why, why call a steaming sack of shit anything other than what it is? So, a slavery is a slavery, a steaming sack of shit is a steaming sack of shit, and an orange is, in fact, an orange. Well, in truth of the matter, those things are those things. Well, I've been satirical, sarcastic, and parodistic enough. Have I been cynical? Sarcasm? Satire? Cynicism, parody. Okay, I'm done. Fuck off till next time.